last week. Now listen and learn from it before I go to the message this morning. This lady, a, a born again Christian, powerful prayer warrior, divorced her husband. And everybody was, what is happening to this powerful prayer warrior? I always tell people, see, if you get it wrong at the foundation, if you get it wrong at the foundation, you can enjoy the building. Now she said she was, she considered her age, that she was aging. And everybody knew her as Jim Jim sister. So she saw this young man lower to him, in, uh, to her in age. The brother proposed to her and he she said she purposely packaged him so that the pastor of her church and her family will accept him. He gave him money to go and buy clothes. Bought a car for him. Packaged him very well. She went ahead of the pastor and convinced the pastor. Convinced her family. But now the marriage has crashed. Why did you leave the marriage, sister? She said, sir. Uh, she was telling my wife, this man will beat me like one. This man has not lifted a hand to donate anything, to give any money, to meet family responsibility. That I have been the provider of the family from beginning of the marriage till date. She now made her first experience when they were to have their first child. It was through CS. Where she was busy laboring, the man was in the hospital where he took another bed. <laughs> slept and covered his head and was snoring. <laughs> The second day, she labored for almost a day. The next day morning, the doctor said, it's going to be CS. Who is going to sign? The husband said, I'm coming. Let me go and bring prayer water. She will deliver by herself. She did it. He didn't come. Thank God that there was a family member there. They signed for her. She put to bed. The next day was when he showed up. Then the mother now told the wife. The mother of the brother now told the wife. He said, you have just seen what I experienced in the hands of his father. That all the sons in the family are like that. They are not responsible. His own mother. That's why I always tell our young sisters, don't rush. Don't go into marriage by your own timing. There is nobody that God has not made a partner for. Have you not read scriptures? That he that created them, created them for a while, male and female. If you are a female, if you are a female there's your male somewhere. If you are a male, there's your female. Be patient. Even when it looks as if time is going, hold on to the Lord. God knows what he's doing. He will never mismanage your life. She was telling the story and she was weeping. She said she now made up her mind. That she will endure him to have the second child. She endured him after she got pregnant of the second child. The same thing happened. The man will beat her up. She delivered the second baby and officially left the marriage. I support that kind of divorce because it has become life threatening. Are you hearing me, somebody? I had to say this because I had to balance the drama you watch. If your marriage is becoming life-threatening, please come for counseling. Because the life And papa is okay, life threatening. You are life threatening. And it's not it's not finger threatening. Let's go to the message of this morning. Praise the Lord. Now, today's message is going to be a continuation. I told us we are working on what? Your intimacy. Please help me look, for, look at what is making this noise. We are working on your intimacy and we are building couples to work together. Now, today, we are looking at this. I took my time to study, hear me, for over 20 something years that I've been a pastor. We have Thanksgiving after service, we have Mommy Lake Cream Thanksgiving. We have the Afolabis Thanksgiving. So it's after the preaching time that we go into Thanksgiving. So get ready. Don't be, don't be afraid. Thanksgiving is part of our program. Now, I took my...
my time to study all the marriage uh, counselings I have handled. Twenty something years of being in ministry, I discovered that ninety percent of the marriage crisis I have settled is money based. Is either there is not enough money, or there is no money at all. I have not seen any marriage in twenty something years of ministry that is having issue because there is much money. Hello. Did you hear me? In twenty something years of marriage of pastoring. I have not seen any marital crisis that has been brought to me because the money is too much. I have always seen money is not enough. It does not meet the need or there is no money at all. I now take, took my time to study scriptures especially the Proverbs 31 woman story. I also read through a lot of scriptures and I discovered from many other experiences. Listen, and I want to title my message, Nine Reasons You Need a Working Wife. Nine Reasons You Need a Working Wife. Now, this message is targeted at convincing every husband not to believe in full housewife. I don't want my wife to work. I want her to be in full time as a housewife. I must tell you, it is not a biblical concept. If you are not seeing that idea, it's from the devil. Now, you know what I'm talking about? Nine reasons you need a working wife because I believe that nobody can be a husband if he doesn't have a job. That's why I'm not talking about working husband now. I've taught you severally over that in scriptures that before God gave Adam a wife, he first gave him what? A job. The Bible says he gave him the garden and told the man, walk it. It was while the man was walking in the garden that God saw that he needed a wife. And the reason why I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the men, I've told you men that marriage is very expensive to maintain. You can't marriage marriage on free. There's no free to air when it comes to marriage. Praise the Lord. Marriage requires what? Money. Money. So today, I want to talk about the wife. So that you can encourage your wife. And if you are thinking that your working wife is a disturbance to you, you have to watch it. Now before we talk about those nine reasons, let me show you five reasons why some men don't want their wife to work. Let me start it from the end. That's how the thing is flowing this morning. Five reasons some men do not want their wives to work. Number one, some men believe that a broke wife will respect a husband that provides even if it's little. Look at that mentality, a wrong mentality. Some men believe that a broke wife will respect a husband that provides, even if it's little. This makes them to do everything to prevent their wives from gaining financial freedom. You notice that this kind of men, with this wrong mentality, they will do everything to be blocking resources and opportunities from reaching their wives. Because to them, they believe that the only way you can control a woman is if you make that woman to depend on you financially is wrong. Everybody say it's wrong. I didn't hear you. Shout it very well now. Now, if you have such mentality, hear me, it is called inferiority complex. You don't believe in yourself enough to be Connect everything from it and let's see where the error is from.
Thank you. Praise the Lord. You can increase the volume for me. So the first wrong reason, look at this. Some men believe that a broke wife will respect a husband. It's wrong. Now, and if you are a wife, if you have such a husband, that man will enslave you. Because he will use his financial power to want to treat you like a property. It's wrong. Number two, some men are just insecure and jealous. They nurse this fear that someone might take their wife from them. So, you know what this kind of men will now do? They will prevent their wives from having access to money. Because they have this fear in their mind. If this woman go out there and work, if this woman involves in business, if this woman become great, somebody will take her from me. So they will believe, stay at home. The kitchen is the office of the woman. Where is it in the Bible? If you are such a man, you don't believe in yourself. It is God that gives wife. The Bible says, I'm trying to look for that scripture. It's crossing my mind. He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor before the Lord. He said, wealth and, and riches are inheritance from parents. That's proverb. He said, but a good wife is a gift from above. So when God gives you, the devil cannot fake it, what God has given you. Please be secured. Third reason why some men don't want their wives to work. Some men are just not futuristic in their thinking. Some men don't see, they don't think the future. They are not futuristic. Look up. Anything can happen in the journey of life that we are in. I know of a family that the man was doing well in business. He fell sick, had stroke. He could no longer make money. Thank God that I was part of those that took, pleaded with him for his wife to work. And when he agreed that the wife worked, she, he handed over the woman to me like this. I said, Pastor, I'm handing to, over to you. You said my wife to go and work. I said, let her work. If she doesn't work, he doesn't pay. Thank God. When he now fell sick and had stroke, who was paying the bill? The woman. You need to be futuristic in your thinking. Don't just be thinking about today alone. Some people are not thinking about tomorrow. All they know is today, today, and today. Shati Jeonlini, Shati Washolini. You have to think of the future. There could be opportunities that you don't have financial capacity for that you can talk to your wife. I remember when we were to start Gospel Kiddies Academy. I remember very well. When they told us to come and rent that property that time, I checked the money in my account. My wife, I asked my wife, she checked the money in her account. After I paid for the rent, my wife went to her own account and did all the furnishing. What if I'm the only one working? That opportunity will have just passed through our hands just like that. Be futuristic in your thinking. Don't just think of now. Think of tomorrow too. When we had opportunity to buy this, our car. I didn't have the whole cash. When we were, where we are living now, when we wanted to, I took the, we took the building to a point I was tired. I said, we are going to park in like that. My wife said, no, we won't park in like that. Am I worried? Am I Shiba? Am I Shiba? Am I Shiba? Am I Shiba? Where do you want to get money? She said, don't worry. So, I don't have the confidence to tell her now to say, pack your things and leave this house. <laughs> Which house? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I didn't hear you. So, as a man, you need to be futuristic in your thinking. Think of, what if I lose this job? Some people don't think like that. Some people say, the only thing I think about is positive. Listen, it's good to be positive, positive, and positive. But do you know that God himself has plan B? The Old Testament was plan A, but look at the New Testament. Now, in those days, if you sin against God, you have to kill bull. But now the blood of Jesus has done it. You need to be futuristic in your thinking. 
a man of the future in mind thinks of the things of, of things that is not happening now. Shall I hear now? Because they can they can terminate your appointment does not mean yeah, God is bad. Futuristic number four. Fourth reason some men don't want their wife to work. Some men are so naive in their thinking to the point that they believe that the woman is created for making babies and managing the home. You know, our, our, our president that is going next month now, when his wife said, if my husband decides to go for second term, I will not vote for him. Our president went to America and said, my wife, my wife, the office is our kitchen. Our kitchen is my office. I, the only place you can be in my house is in my kitchen. That was the day I lost interest in him. I knew he would make the country the way it is. Beloved, the woman is your helpmate, not your baby factory. I'm talking to the man. The woman is your helpmate, not your, not your housemate. Now, when you talk about the helpmate, think of bigger things. Not just going to the kitchen to cook food. Think of bigger things. As you see, me and my wife, we used to team up to do great things. So. When we have things, I have vision in front of me, we sit down together. What do we do? How can we add resources together to get this achieved? So change that mindset that a woman is a baby factory and a, a homemaker. Change that mindset. I eat a koja there. If our fathers did it in those days, it was those days that the eyes of men was blind. Not now. And the fifth one, some men believe that their wife should not have a need that they cannot meet. That's why they don't want them to work. Madam, what do you want that I've not given you? Have you not? You never chop? Have you not eaten? Did I not buy clothes for you? Now, who told you that a woman don't... See, the need of a woman... Can I tell you this truth? The need of a woman, there's no man that can meet it. Do you know why I said they cannot meet it? It's because the need of a woman is senseless to the man. Now, if a woman asks for powder, a man will ask, what do you need powder for? What, what do they need there? If she's beautiful, is it not because of you? But to us, it's senseless. What do you want to do with powder? I'm looking for how to put my bag at home. A woman is looking for how to carry her own along. And when I finished preaching at the Lebu Church, the people that were coming to Liberty, I gave them my bag, my phone, my everything. I got here, my daughter was asking, Daddy, why did you give them your phone? Why I, want, I was calling you that you should help me bring shoe. I said, the phone too is a, is a burden to me. She will be home, she will free by. We like it. Can you see that a woman's need is different from a man's need? So no man is rich enough to be able to meet the need of a woman. No man. Where you are saying, I, have I not bought powder for you? A woman will tell you, I need more than one powder to look beautiful for you. No, is it not true? Ah, she powder con loan. So some men believe it. That's why they don't want them to work. You never chop. The need of a woman is more than food. Can I tell you the truth? If you empower a woman with the ability to make money, hear me, even you will enjoy that woman. Your children will enjoy that woman. Every man that is here, except you want to lie, it is not the amount you put down that you are eating. Except you want to lie. Even to pass of me, I work with you. Who to allow me? He la la se ko le kola li se. He la la se ko to ma se. To ba je la la se ko lu pada se o. O we o ka. Afito, my wife say Afito ba fe we care di eh. Now my fi a je ma she be la la se ko lu fe je. To ba lo o to fi le o le ba tu o be yen. Now let's go. To the main point. I love it. I tell you nine reasons why you should. I've not given you a scripture. Let's look at Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse ten, because of the religious people in our midst. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse ten.
Let's read together after the can. Okay, let's rise up to read. It's the first Bible reading. Let's be on our feet. After the count of three, we are going to read together. One, two, and three. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Now look at the scripture. The word there, anyone, means both men and women. It didn't say, if any man will not work. If en, only a nekeniti obashishe, remain standing. There is, it is very important, listen, one of the things that couples should discuss and really reach agreement over is their finances. How do we, how do we meet our expenses? Both of you should sit down. How do we meet our expenses? Because whether you fast and pray, whether you eat or not, you will spend money. So you have to talk. Okay, uh, Pastor, uh, sir, you don't understand. Uh, both of us cannot be going to the office. And, we, I, and when I say work, I don't mean office work alone. Both of you should agree over your finances. If you want to enjoy progress in your life. Now, and we have said, sit down, sit down. Scripture is showing us clearly. Let him who does not work. Who will not work, not eat. Nine reasons you need a working wife. Number one, you need a working wife because if your wife doesn't know how to make money, she will not know the value of money. Whoever does not know how to make money will not know the value. I come again. Whoever does not know how to make money will not know the value. I come again. Whoever does not know how to make money will not know the value. I come again. Whoever does not know how to make money, we know we not know the value of money. So a woman who does not know how to make money, it won't be difficult for such a woman to want to eat and put a, 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 and she, she decides to say, okay, I want to go and take soup, I want to eat rice. She will take four pieces of meat in the morning, four pieces of meat in the afternoon, four in the evening. And the next day morning, you say, my dear, the soup is finished. She didn't know how you made that money now. Because she doesn't, she has not made money in her life, or you have made her into a dummy. But if she understands how to make money, she understands that you work to get money. It's not that money comes as a gift. You work to get money. Such a woman will value whatever you are bringing in. Now, what is the difference between children and adults? Children don't understand the value of money now. There are times we are playing in the house. My children will be at my son, especially like the last one. Koshishari now. He may be asking me, Daddy, I'll say, Daddy, I'll say, can, can you please buy a car for me? I say, I'll buy it. Don't worry, I'll buy a car for you when you grow up. And he'll be reminding me, when you grow up, you say, you buy a car, I'll buy a car. He doesn't know the price of a car. And even if I tell him that car is two million naira, he doesn't know how long it will take to gather two million. Go and find out anywhere. Anyone that does not have a working attitude doesn't have. They won't have value for money. That's why at times when I go, you know, I look at the way uh, some of these uh, the, these things they do. You see somebody who says singing in front of a musician, and you say somebody will come with ten million naira and they will spray it. I always ask them questions. If it is a hard end money, you won't spray like that. Tiki show cocaine. Tiki show shelu Nigeria. Pe o she share o gadai. Koko le dosi wa ju de video koko bete million dani. Kwa ma juni bill ba mo fi le komo e la ye la ye. Let her work. Now when she begin to work. She begin to do business, she will begin to understand the value system. That's why you see that some men are not respected at home. Whatever you drop, they will see it as rubbish. I'm showing you reason for crisis.
person earns money on his or her own, the way he or she will spend it will show that it was earned. You have an agreement to that? Yeah. The way the person will spend it will show that this person earned it. Now look at this past election that uh, uh, this past election shows us clearly. People that people that came to contest that end work and end money. Though some of them didn't win, no. But in their campaign, you will know that these ones they are not thieves. Because it was not everything people were asking that they were giving. Those that stole the money, you will know that this one put jali. The bad they are not milos. He sent it. Mumpa da lot jali ni business ni monje. The way they spend the money, you too will know. So as a man, listen. These are things, young brothers. These are things you'll be discussing at in your courtship. That's why I tell you that. I always tell you during courtship is not time. Let's go to shop right here. Let's go to uh, a small. Let's go to this. Let's, during courtship, you talk. Just like the one I told you when we're talking about the in-law matters. If all your family members contribute money to send you to school and they have a belief that you will raise your younger ones in your courtship, tell your fiancé so that she will not be thinking when she's married to you, she will not see your family members. You will let her know that, see, I am a corporate, it is cooperative union that raised me. Yes. Which cooperative? The cooperative of the family. So there is no how. You can't do anything without seeing my brother. My brother will come. My sister will come. So that if that sister will not marry you, she will know right from your courtship season. The same thing. Discuss issue of work. So that you will not be bringing a liability in your life. See her here. A woman who doesn't know how to make money will be placing ir ir sorry, irresponsible requests before her husband and it might lead to unnecessary quarrel. We are still on that point one. A woman who does not know how to make money will be placing irresponsible requests before her husband and it will lead to unnecessary quarrels. Irresponsible requests. I need a red hat to go with my red gown. I need a blue hat to go with my blue gown. Honey, honey, this coming Sunday, if you don't buy a shoe for me, I'm not going to church with you. I'm not going to church with you. I'm not going to church with you. Ah, ah. Honey, honey, we have been eating too much fish in our house. We have been eating too much fish. If you, you don't change our eating style and there's no meat, see, see, I will pack and leave the house. These are signs of ir irresponsible requests. But if she's working and any money, uh -uh, she will understand that <laughs> that we have 10 pieces of meat in the pot. It does not mean we should finish it in one day. Are you learning something? Number two. Reason two. If she does not have a means of making money, her personal need, follow me here, will make her want to grab something from every opportunity she sees. Again, if she does not have a means of making money, her personal need will make her to want to grab something from every opportunities, opportunity she sees. If you give her money to go to market, she will get grab something from it. If you give, yes, Baranda, yes, that's what they call it in your land. If you give her money to go and uh, 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 say, okay, go and buy material for the children, buy trousers for the uh, for the son, buy skirts for the daughters, buy shoe, she will do what? She will make profit from it. Do you know why? She is not making money on her own. I we run a school. In our school, I know of mothers that will come to me. Ewosa, Ewosa, Ewomini school bill. They will collect school bill from me. Imagine husband and wife. Wife will come and collect school bill from me and go to the husband and I will get another alert. And the wife will quickly call. Hello, ma. Who is here? Hello, Joe. Hello, Dr. Dafumini. I can't go. I'm not going to 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 go. Because in TI and Batis or Niba, my Funisha go come in. My uncle called his seats near Timori. That 
which one is there? Oh God. It's true because those mothers, if you if you revolt, they'll just go and say, in that school, they don't used to teach people well. I have them that are about four of them. And their husband doesn't know at all. The husband is so acagons to the point that he will transfer the school fees to me directly. But the woman has gone to tell him the price. Whether they used to go and change my bill new, I don't know. Who turned out to be like that is the man. Why? Because you are preventing her from working. Let her work. If she earns her own money, she will even pity you. That's what this, what this man is going through. To get this amount of money, this man is trying, you know. You'll be shocked that such a woman will be telling you, don't worry, don't worry. You want some school fees in your own jet. See her here. So when they notice that they also already know about the school fees, they come and inflict the price of school uniform. That's an eight eight thousand. They will pay student from call. So tomati did the batty tomati transfer eight thousand in school uniform come. There's one for many that man need. She be middle land low. Many now. There were three three thousand times four. Now I thought we are the only one until when I met Mrs. Shotadi of Brightester, the any pastor. Emma she mistake professor for come on. I JB, only until lose a one more control here. So if she does not have a means of making money, her personal need will make her want to grab something from every opportunity she she sees. Now it is those kind of women that will go to other people's party. They don't know the people that are celebrating, but they will come back with Lilo. Kishi kumo ma matunche na wo. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. Why? Because their husbands make them like that. Let them work. If you are sitting beside the woman, tell her, go and work. You are not talking. You are not talking. You are not talking. I wrote here, you will turn her into a money grabber. And it will make her, sorry, it will make you nag and lose trust in her when you begin to discover that she has been duping you. It will make you lose trust. When your wife comes and tells you that a crate of egg is 1,008, and maybe mistakenly you just were just passing and someone said, Daddy, are you? Daddy, are you? Daddy, are you? Ah, okay, my tafu, any 1,000. Wow. I want to lay in. She could do one eight. Ah, I job her body with two budget to you. One, 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 two, knee. You see, if you ask a toba to be that uncle, ah, one, two, knee, daddy. Ha, I'm okay. One eight. Who did this is hundred? Well, I best make a cool it. That's if you're doing many that in jail. But a woman we need to 
change their own. According to science, at least every month, every 30 days, she will need to push that one aside, get new sets of. Now, how will you feel as a husband? Your wife came to you in January, honey, Ferra, pants and bra. February ending, Otua, honey, pants and bra. March uh, ending, honey, pants and bra. To buy the April ending, buy you are journey to get the little honey, and I shall you pants and bra, low one, kilo day. You get what I'm saying? That's why you need to make money on your own. There are certain things you don't need to talk to your husband about. Let's go to number three. Are you learning something? A woman who does not know how to make money will not know how to manage or multiply it. And this will make her to be seen as a non-profitable vessel in the sight of her husband. A woman who does not know how to make money will not know how to manage or multiply it. And see, if you are not making money, you are not multiplying money, your husband will one day see you as a non-profitable vessel. Are you adding anything to my life? If you want to leave, leave. You begin to hear statements like that. Why not make up your mind that you want to be a kind of a partner that your, your spouse can brag with, brag of? Ah, thank God for my wife. Oh, thank God for my husband. Make up your mind that you'll be that kind of a partner. Not, a, not, not that you'll be seen as a liability. You ask for everything. Beloved, it is important she knows how to make money on her own. Don't deprive her. When a woman is an asset to her husband, hear me, and family, she will be treated as a, she will be treated as a person of honor. A woman that is an asset is treated as an honorable person. The husband, your husband won't talk to you anyhow. But he won't talk to you anyhow because you are an asset. You are a gift. You are a blessing. Not a body. Not that when even match is finished at home, you have to wait for him if your neighbors don't have. You have to wait for him to arrive. And imagine your husband is just coming in from work. Where's my food? He says, oh, I'm sorry, honey. Do you know I was cooking fried rice for you? I finished frying the chicken. I, was, I put the rice on the fire. Gas just finished. Even if you are as born again as I am, I will be angry. Are you now telling me that there's no food in this house? And you know the wife will say, I, I told you gas just finished. Will I put, turn myself to gas? <laughs> and you say you are alive. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, the man will begin to cross his mind. Then he will begin to compare you with those women working in his office. Don't deprive her. And woman, if they are trying to tell you not to, they are trying to deprive you of honor, of, of being a honor in your house. The Bible talks about the proverb of 31 woman. Even her children call her what? Blessed. Her husband is respected where? At the city gate. Number four. A woman who does not know how to make money will not be re will not be a reasonable mate to her husband when he talks about financial and economic matters. Let me come again. A woman who does not know how to make money will not be a reasonable mate to her husband when he talks about financial and economic matters. She will not be able to make reasonable contribution. That will make her husband to see her as intelligent. Can you imagine? The man is talking about the economy. You have nothing to contribute. You know nothing. The man will be looking at you as this one doesn't have anything upstairs. Let's jump to number five. There's no time. Number five. I love this number five. 
very well. And I will spread it small. Number five. A woman who does not know how to make money will not be able to give her husband the needed financial support when unexpected opportunity or challenge arise. A woman who does not know how to make money will not be able to give her husband the needed financial support when unexpected opportunity or challenge arise. If you are finished writing, look up. I want you to know this thing, this truth about life. That's what we call unexpected opportunities. Unexpected opportunities. I, I came home last night. I was discussing with my wife that you know that uh, our neighbor wants to sell his house. And he said, Pastor, you are the first person I want to discuss with. I want to sell this house and the shops. Pastor, are you interested? He told me the price. I told my wife, I said, what do you think? So I and my wife started discussing. My wife said, ah, opportunity they knew. How much do you have? How much do we have? We're just talking. Said, ah, and if we have the opportunity to buy this house, I was selling it. We have not started, we have not bought it. I will increase the shops. I will put more, four more shops to the four, to make eight. I will complete the two bedroom flat there. I will complete the single flat there. Rent one to a, 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 a copper. You know, as we were discussing, unexpected things happen in life. Unexpected opportunities, manwa. Unexpected challenges, no manwa. But if your spouse is not, he, he won't the canal, manwa. The unexpected opportunity, baba, he won't the canal. The unexpected challenge, baba, he won't the canal. Am I communicating? Do you know that there are, there are some men when they discover how buoyant their wives are, some men kill their wives so, because they are not the one, they are not contributing. That's why if we are doing it together, we will respect ourselves. That's why if you are a woman here, your husband is not bringing anything. Go and tell him this message. He needs to work. If I tell him go so no alright, when he enters, he will just say, "Oh, John, that you don't know him." Go here, go John. Balili, go here, go John. Lemon. Toba, she be alright. Lord, Lord, tell you. She bought my cake. Go My tell you. Oh, my Louis. Oh. But can you walk on water? Don't enter. Go badu no. In the Bible, only what yes, I do. I God is he's, he's trusting God for his wedding suit and you want to marry him. He's trusting God for his wedding suit and you want to marry him. If he has to trust God for wedding suit, <laughs> okay, let's let's rush. We don't have all the time. We still have two thanksgivings today. Number six. Number six. I love this number six too. A woman who does not know how to make money will not be so busy with joy. To the point that she will not be caught up between gossips. Because if she does not know how to make money, she will not be busy. And if she's not busy, she will know what is happening in the community. She'll be involved. Now, look at the scriptures. Show me scriptures. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 13 and verse 14, KJV.
Let's read together. 13 and 14. 1, 2, 3, and let's go. And with all, the land to... Sorry. And with all, the land to be idle, wandering about from house to house. And not only idle, but tatlas also and busy bodies speaking things which they ought not to. 14. I will therefore that the younger woman marry their children, guide the house, give none occasion to adversary to speak reproachfully. Now, when a woman is not busy, she will have time for gossip. All this one that I, um, yeah, um, look for our story Facebook, Kunisha Ni. Abi? Kunisha Ni. Oh, I'll read Instagram. Kunisha, you want to read TikTok. Kunisha Ni. Oto Ni. I know of marriages of our, some of our church members that had issues. I tried to come in, it didn't say, so I left them. Because the woman was too addicted to Facebook. She would wake up in the morning, she would put on the phone and be watching Facebook. It is from, yeah, she's watching Facebook, she'll look at time, nine o'clock, she will place order, they will bring breakfast for her. From Idris. She will continue with her Facebook. In the afternoon, she'll look at time again, she'll place order to another Idris, they will bring food to her. We have some people who tell you that by nine o'clock in the morning they have made twenty million. Nine arrow, and we meet to make twenty million. Ma, seven o'clock. Aha, uh -huh. somebody has made twenty million. Please get busy. Reason seven. When a woman has a source by which she earns money she will always be happy. Have you not noticed that? When a woman makes money happy, apart from God, the second thing that makes women happy is not, is not men, it's money. Happy? Apart from God, the next thing that makes women happy, now money, then you cannot put a husband as after money. Sir? Ah. Women like money. <laughs> now, and it's not that they like it. That's how they are created. They have needs. Most of these needs, they want to use it to bless their husband too. They want to bless their children. They want to do for God. That's why the woman needs money more than the man. Yeah. If you go and table your thinking to your wife and she table her, you'll be shocked. Uh, you'll be shocked. Choma. <laughs> okay. Can we move on? Listen, eight. Number eight. When a woman has a source by which she earns money, hear me, she will be able to pay back her family for the sacrifices they made in training her. I have two girls. I know what I am spending to raise my children. And there was a time we were discussing at home. I and Yola, Oyi and Oriola with their mommy. We laugh and laugh. And you know what was making me, what made them to laugh? Oyi was asking Yola, what will you do after you are through from the university? Uh, Onyola was saying, uh, was saying yeah, if I, maybe if my husband may not want me to work, I just answer, I will curse him. I will use prayer to kill him. And they look at me, why? I said, do you know how much I've in, I'm investing on you becoming somebody great? He will now marry you and say he does not want you to work. May you not meet such man. She, she said, they were looking at me, daddy, show me to you, let you there, They want to pay back, but there is no how they can pay their parents back if they are not earning anything. That's why don't marry a woman and put her at the back here. No, 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 no. And if she's working, she's earning money, don't choke her. Because some men too, when they see that their women are working and earning money, they will they will withdraw.
withdraw from meeting the family needs. So such a woman will not have savings. How will she pay her family back? Some parents went to the point of even raising their, their daughters to become lawyers, some to become doctors, some to become engineers. How do you want them to pay back? You too, how do you want to pay back? Is it from the one that your husband is giving you that you used to pay? This one that before you collect feeding money, self, you know, you don't talk, 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 tired. Is it from there you say, I want to collect money for my daddy? I want to collect for my mommy. Number what now? The last one. She will be able to do things for the Lord without waiting for your consent when she earns money. She will be able to do things for God without waiting for you. Now you want to do personal thanksgiving. You are calling your husband, honey, move she personal thanksgiving. Move her a fan from church. You are send the you walk all alone, my bless you. She can to send the woman alone, my bless. Hey, honey, honey, a bed de me, uh, move her, move her a speaker, me kiss in church. Move her to tell her all alone. Honey, I dare send you. You walk all alone, my bless you. But when she earn money on her own, there are things you'll be able to do. So many of our women are not relevant in the women fellowship. You know why? Because they don't make their own money. And they don't know how to table it before their husband. Women conference is coming. They told us to pay so so and so amount. You need to work. Now, every brother here, I'm closing now. Before I'm running up, go to Thanksgiving. Don't ever make a mistake. If you are a hard-working man, don't ever make a mistake to marry a lazy woman. Say, Papa, Lati, Eko, Bobai. I bet I told you, I want to church, I recommend you more. Go and do better to buy. I bet I told you, Bejoko, up to now, I don't know. It must be the Holy Ghost. But hear me, don't make that mistake. So many men have made that mistake. They were drowned because they married lazy women. If you are going to marry, there are three things you must check for. Every man, listen, write this down. Three things you must check in the life of a lady that you will get married to. Number one, check her relationship with God. Number one. Number two, pay attention to her relationship with her family members. If she sees her family members as uh, they are not they, they are, they are, they are not relevant, that woman throwing you away will not cost her anything. And three, check her area of industrialization. How industrious is she? What has she done with her life? If she has not done anything with her life, she does. She's not a wife material. Whoever does not value her own life will not cost her anything to waste your own. That's why, right. till tomorrow, I used to thank God for this woman. I told my children at the family altar yesterday, I'm running up. If you have questions, please begin to bring it. I told my, my children, I said, see, I didn't do relationship when I would not have courage to show it out. I said, when I spoke with your mom, the day I met her and I told her, my intention. The first thing I told her, please, when you get home, go and tell it. The day she agreed, I've told her, she went to pray. When she came, I said, God said, we should go on the nation. I said, when you get to your house, tell your elder brother, because I know your parents are not in the battle. Because I would not like to be coming and staying behind the window. and be doing, pss, pss, pss. I don't do that one. I said, I would like to come to your house. So tell your brother about me. And after some time, I went to the brother, bought two bottles of wine. I greeted him. He said, oh yeah, I've been seeing you around. And I told him my intention. He said, is my sister aware? I said, yes. He said, wait, let me call the caller. You know what I was looking at? I was looking at her relationship with her family. Not that you ask her, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I want to go to a 
chegando o ar. When I saw that, I was pleased. I also met her working. I told you her contribution to my life when we started. She got to my house the first day, entered my room. I had I had cane chair that time. I had cane chair. Use opposed uh, for the phone. It was raining that time. Thank you. She entered my room. But she didn't see television. She didn't see because I didn't watch television. I trained myself with reading books. I want to be great. And I thank God that training is helping my children today. In our house, we don't watch television. The television in our house, go and ask my, ask my children. The last time it has worked was when Brother Tuji came to do it for us last. And after he left, we watched it for one week, he stopped working. So I was ashamed to call him again. We don't watch TV. Everybody carry their book. We discuss, we pray, we carry our books. So when she entered my room that time, she said, Ah, Brother Prince, with money, yes. Hey, need TV. Money, no. She left. At the end of the month, she just came. She said, I just collected my salary and I feel that I should contribute to you having TV at home. Now, can you see that? Could you bukata yele for me to rike motostie? Would I care? Don't continue to subject in sound English. To buy a good job, cut a year late. To the Kimu to say, Matisa. Thank you, Matisa. Straight. But some of you talk only about the Konusia by. When you are by me, bear with me, you're too deal. But be there with me, Dori. Abby, I did me when you are by me. And I love how Baba Suwe put it. He said, Yara Geru le Womo. I saw Jesus with the Kete Kete. I saw Jesus with the Kete Kete. I observe these things. I'm telling you a practical example. I observe these things. I was contributing to her life at my level. And today, 21 years. Married, and that's the secret. So, every woman that is here, do what work so that you can meet your need, work so that you can be a blessing too to your spouse. Do you have any question? Okay, no question. Thank you. Are you blessed this month? This morning, have you learned something? I didn't hear. Have you learned something? It's like some of you are so angry, you don't want to answer me. Have you learned something? Work. Tell him, work. That's the Ghanaian English, work. That's oral English, work. Work. Let's welcome Pastor MC. You will coordinate. Okay, you have Thanksgiving too.